You know what's funny about these old power books? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you know what's funny about these old power books? Is you keep trying to turn the brightness up, but that's as high as it goes. That's all you get. It actually looks pretty good in the camera. Hmm. I guess auto white balance really helps. It's also kind of yellow in real life. Anyway. So I figured I would show all the games that I have on here. Some of them work, some of them don't. Um, we'll just start at the A's. No, we'll start at the Q's, because Quake's cool. So we got Quake 2. And it's got a little loader for OS X, which is nice, because that means it actually works. Move this out of the way. And, and, and. Uh, let's see, what is it? Load... No. Time demo. This is maxed graphics. I <laughs> like that does anything on Quake 2. Uh, one? Is that right? There we go. Alright. That's how Quake time demos work. We'll let it go a couple times, and then once it's done, go there. 132, 135 frames per second. Not bad. I'm going to get out of that. You just time demo. Zero. And you're back to the regular stuff. I think this is probably my Quake, my favorite Quake game. I guess I had probably more fun playing three with friends, but when you're not with friends or don't have any friends, Quake 2 is pretty awesome. In fact, I think this is the first first game I played online too. Either this or Rainbow Six. I don't remember. All right, and Quake. If you if you try to run regular Quake. And it opens up Mac Classic environment, which I forgot to preload, so we gotta wait for it to start up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's coming. It's coming. There it, it, it. So it, it tries to go into 256 color mode, and it just doesn't like it. It's not super. Yeah, you can now see. This is the problem that I've been having with OS 9 games is like it's it's there it's loaded but i don't know how to what do i do is it am i missing something there's no graphic setting thing new solo game let's try that yeah but i still can't select things so quit that don't save of course um, but luckily, we have GL Quake, which works amazing. So here's regular Quake. Quake 1. And we can also do a time demo on that. I think this surprisingly runs slower. Uh, than Quake 2. I guess I can get that out of the way. We'll run that again. Nope, I guess it does it once. Well, see, 101 frames per second. Seems kind of weird. Maybe it's just a compatibility thing. I don't know. Or maybe Quake's just like, just, just rolls like that. All right, and then we've got Quake 3. Which, I don't remember if I have it set up correctly. Uh, looks like we might be in uh, 1024 by 768. But hopefully... Whatever, fight. See, it's maxing out. 90 FPS. I don't know what the actual max is. Uh, see if I can find that guy. It doesn't drop. 
Hey there. Hey, buddy. Where'd you go? Where are you going? You didn't go that way? Did you go out of here? Huh? Where's he at? There he is. I'm gonna try and kill him. I'm gonna get him. Ah, oh, I almost got him. All right, and then what else do we have? Ooh, Unreal Tournament, which runs really well. I thought I was gonna have to get Unreal Gold or just Unreal or you know whatever thing. Oh, you have to insert your CD in your CD-ROM drive. Okay, okay. That's the problem with this one. I don't, I don't I haven't looked into no CD crack or anything like that. Um, crap. Give me one. There we go. I may not have a no CD crack per se, but. Oh, there's another freaking. Ugh, sorry. Gotta unzip. Okay, there we go. Get the toast file, chuck it into the Unreal Tournament folder, because you're gonna have to run it from there anyway. At least that's where I put it. And just mount that image open. And then run it. And then run it. There it goes. Works just fine. There's got to be a no CD crack there, right? If not, I can just do that. No problem. Here we go. Come on now. You can do it. That's a little dark. That's a little bit dark. That's a little better. Alright, start practice session. Wait a second, this is only in 1024 by 768 again. Tools. Options, options, preferences, resolution, that's as high as it goes. Shoot. Uh, well, crank the textures, yes. Skin detail, hi. Call that good. Practice session, I think it runs just fine. Start. Pretty good. Um, I wish I had three hands or a tripod. I guess a tripod would work too. I'll just kill whoever gets the next one. How do I? There we go. Where is he? And of course, you gotta have Halo. Uh, I think these settings will work. No, they probably won't. Shit. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, uh. Campaign. You gotta click on it, you can't just hit enter. Assholes. Continue. I think it's a little slow at decent settings. Yeah, like a little, little chunky, but it's not too bad. I just need to lower the texture settings, and I think that runs pretty good. Oh, here we go, Duke Nukem 3D. I think I just have the demo level right now on this. Um, unfortunately, that's the highest resolution we can get, as far as I know. Detail high, shadows on, on. Uh, 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 uh. If that's all you get. There's no resolution. Maybe there's a console thing, or... I don't know. Uh, mouse look. Crouch. Crouch? How do you... I want to get out of here. How do I do that? Okay, and then uh, the games that I really wanted to play on this, not working as well as I'd hoped. So I wanted to play the Marathon series because I've never played those before. And those who don't know, this is a series made by Bungie um, before Halo, kind of Doom era, post Doom era. Um, the problem is, so we've got window size, full screen, set it to full screen, set it to high colors, 
Don't need to touch the darkness. It's on high resolution. Uh, looks fine to me. Okay. That is not full screen. <laughs> it's totally not full screen. And it crashed. Well, let's try Marathon 2. Begin new game. Yeah. 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 There we go. See, this kind of works. Um, I don't have the mouse set up. How do you... Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't want to play it like that. I want it to be full screen. And I know it has something to do... How do you even get out of this? What's the... Fine. I'll do it this way. Force quit. Jerk. Yeah, I don't know how to get some of these to full screen correctly. Um, if we go up here to A10 attack. Sweet game. Ask me to go to 256 color mode. Sure. It's the only way you can play it. Um, I had this one set to, I think, 1024 by 768, so we get... Basically full screen, usable, right? Uh, take my brakes off. I need brakes. Shifty. Uh, air brakes? How do you brakes? Uh, uh, where's my brakes? I don't know where the brakes are. I don't remember where the brakes are. Oh well. And now I exited the game. Well, I guess I didn't yet. Quit. There it goes. Okay. Now we're back in full color. It was stuck in 256 color. I'll try A10 Cuba. I think this is the sequel, right? Switch to 256 color mode. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, preferences. Graphics, screen area, we've got it set to 760A, that's close enough. Everything looks good, kind of loud. Demo. And it's totally not 10 to 24 by 768. That's 800 by 600? No. 640 by 480? Yeah. Not good enough for me, but. It runs, as you would expect. It's like a 90s game. Quit. Pew. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I do not know how to fix that resolution and other things error. Oh, Doom. Doom. Do I have Doom on here? Final Doom? Final Doom. Okay. So, Final Doom, um, which... I don't see a... the hell? Where's the icon? There's no icon. Final Doom. There's like the mods. I guess I can load a mod. See? They don't work at all. <laughs> Come on. Yep. Okay, we get, oh, oh, we, it like only does a quarter of the screen here. See? I don't even, I don't even, how do you quit? Force quit. Force quit. Ugh. And now I'm stuck in 256 color. So we gotta go over to displays and change it back. Oh, I did have a, some Quake mods, right? Okay, so yeah, I've got... Neharwa... Uh... X-Men thing. But I don't think these work either. I think since these don't use GL Quake... They don't really operate. I think they're gonna run the same way as GL Quake did. Actually, this looks 
decent. That's that's running. Hey, it's running actually. It's running like crap. Wish I could use a better thing. But maybe that's just how it's gonna run. It's, it's like software mode, maybe? Destined to run like total garbage. All jittery and crappy. I don't know why I'd want to play this one anyway. It looks kind of weird. There's not supposed to be that many X-Men's. Nahara! Nahara! Hello? Oh, hey. Full screen. Millions of colors. 32 bit. Go for it. Do it. Do it. Ooh. I haven't tried this one yet. That works. Forgot that these have the mousy movement thing. This I might actually play. I was thinking about playing Quake. Um. Cool. Complete that level. <laughs> 31 days until transfer, thank God. What is it with you? Counting the days. We got it good here. Doesn't get any easier to nip. Oh, and then the last, I've got next series thing. One of those open arena, quake arena sort of mod full game things. Uh, I think I have this set to decent graphics, as good as I can get. Oh, that's a good one. It's totally the Halo theme, right? Right? Right. This runs okay after I turned everything down. I could probably turn the resolution down, maybe do it in 1024 by 768 and get it a little bit better, but I'd rather have full screen if I can. Oh, I forgot this takes a while to load. Alrighty. Um, press jump to enter the game. That runs alright. Got him. What is this? Uh, excuse me. Oh. I could play that. As you'll see, we're getting 20 to 40 FPS. Kind of depends. Yeah, I've got, like I said, I've got this turned down way low. Uh. And I've got this other game that I need to try, Pathways into, Pathways into Darkness. Cannot talk. Um, shit. That's another old Bungie or pre-Bungie game, I think, if I got the right one. Kind of a dungeon crawler, first person shooter. I'd say more like Doom, but it kind of feels like Wolfenstein, maybe. You know, really square and hallways and stuff like that. Looked pretty fun. Figured I'd give it a shot. A lot of these games I got off of abandonware.com or whatever that website is. Who knows if they're actually abandonware? I don't think half of them are. But anyway, everything works pretty well. At least the things that I really wanted to play. I wonder if my joystick will work for A10. Ooh. I should get that out. Oh, and uh, all the Marathon games. Marathon Infinity, and 1, and 2, all do the same thing with that small screen. Which is pretty annoying. Um, I've actually got a PowerBook G3 on the way. Cheap eBay thing. As everything I get is cheap, and from eBay usually. <laughs> uh, and I plan on putting macOS 9 on it and instead playing 
all these old OS9 games probably on it instead. So. And for that matter, I might even just get rid of this computer. I don't know, I, I kind of feel like hawking it on eBay, getting at least my money back on it, and putting that towards something that I'll probably use more. At least after I get bored of all these games. I don't know. Uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Other than that, thanks for watching.